Hi, fishy folks, and happy special edition Saturday. Today, a very special Fry Fry Saturday, if you will. Pleco babies, a plethora in the fish room. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, hopefully the fan isn't too loud, but I'm here at the Super Red Bristlenose breeding tank, and you can see there is a poop ton of Super Red Bristlenose babies. Um, there's mom. She just went in the cave. Dad's been chilling in that uh, D-shaped cave uh, pretty much since I got him. And uh, I got him from Mikey at Mile High Plecos. Check out Mile High Plecos on Facebook. And uh, he said he wouldn't be surprised if uh, Dad laid eggs. Or sorry. I'm sure he'd be surprised if Dad laid eggs. He wouldn't be surprised if Mom laid eggs and Dad was guarding them. Pretty much from day one which is exactly what it appeared so uh, i'm guessing those plecos are a couple days old and uh, they are going to town on the remaining green beans from yesterday's breakfast which is fine with me and uh there's the other red brussel nose pleco i got in that shipment um earlier this week uh, really not a big deal in this tank <clears throat> but it is what it is we have Super Red Bristlenose Pleco Babies. And then uh, here are the Super Red Bristlenose Grow Outs. These will be ready as soon as the spring comes. I'll be shipping to everyone that I owe them to. Uh, I have to double check, but I think, I think about 14 are already sold. I don't know how many are left. However, uh, we just got, I got uh, 14 new Super Red Bristle Nose from a local guy. They were, um, they're about two inches, inch and a half to two inches. Unfortunately, I lost two overnight. I don't really know why. I guess it's the shock of, of you know, moving, but there are 12 in here. You, you can't see, there's one on the back. Over there, see if we can get the phone to focus. Man, this iPhone is fantastic with filming. I've been filming with the iPhone because uh, it's easier and the pictures are, I think, better than my $900 camera setup. But I didn't say that out loud because that would kill me. Anywho, uh, these will be going for sale also when the weather breaks. Um, I may sub some of these for the people that I've been waiting the longest. I haven't really decided. So if you're watching this, don't get your hopes up, but get your hopes up. Uh, and then uh, we have over here albino bristlenose plecos and you can see on the glass there is a new batch of babies um the first batch of babies in here are about two weeks old maybe three weeks old and i saw one on the glass and then i didn't see any more for like three days and i actually looked for them and i was like damn i lost a whole batch but they were just hiding in the mom and in the caves and underneath the filter and what have you um so anyway, we have a new batch. We feed the crap out of this tank. Uh, it's a 20 high. I'm a little surprised I get such good breeding results out of a 20 high. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, the light that I have over this tank makes it look kind of bluish. It's this light. I think Jason from Jadron Aquatics recommended this light. Got it on eBay about a year ago. I don't. I don't really remember what it is. I don't recommend. I don't know that I recommend it because I don't like the blue. But it was cheap. But I may change it just for filming. Anyway, so here's my conundrum with this tank is there is a there's actually a lot of them for for me. Um, but I guess it's not hurting anything because, you know, we just had babies. I was going to say, how do I clean it up with all these babies? But I guess I don't do anything. Um, fry Fry Saturday. We have a ton of fry in the in the uh, mutt tanks. So here's my plan for the, the winter vacation that I'm, I'm not working for like 10 or 12 days. These three tanks are all going to become mutt tanks, I think. At least that tank and that tank will be additional mutt tanks to this tank and this tank. This tank had uh, yellow cobras in it. Um, they don't seem to be breeding as nice as I want them to breed. So uh, I'm just going to, whatever's left, I'm going to add to the mutt genetic pool. And I'll be getting some more yellow cobras, golden yellows, lemon yellows. I, I forget what they're called from a super breeder, local super breeder named Doug, who drives a crappy Nissan, but it's between him and me. 
And uh, this tank had some mutts in it, um, but I was selling out of it because they were nice blues and people like the blue mutts. So I'm probably gonna clean it out. Uh, I won't drain it, I'll just clean out some of the mom and, and, and old Java moss. And uh, I have some blues that I've separated already. I'll show you up here. These guys, these were the, um, the Japanese blue colony that got away from me because of the red. I mean, that is a stellar looking fish, but I can't sell it as a Japanese blue, right? So I'll sell it as a mutt. There's still some nice uh, Japanese blues in here. I'm, I may or may not, probably not, um, add them to my other Japanese blue colony that I got from Juan in Puerto Rico. I'll show you that because there's a ton of fry in there too. They're in the super red bristle nose grow out tank. And you see all the fry. So these guys, like there's the male. I think I got a trio from him. Uh, he sent them to me at no charge just to check shipping. He did a great job for his first time shipping. Uh, I don't think he has anything set up yet. As soon as he does, I will definitely help promote him. But I mean, very fat females, very plain females for this strain, but very fat females. And uh, you know, that male, not a great lower sword, but it'll come, it'll come soon. Uh, oh um black panda guppies seem to be growing like guppies so uh i think i'm gonna start selling the fry pack again and take these off back order because they're growing nice i have a ton i don't know if i ever officially showed you my variatus platy colony this is another one of those lights that was over the pleco tank you know that makes the water look blue and this and the water looks blue or green it's it's really not that like cloudy anywho i got these from a local guy and they're still in quarantine and actually they're going to be in quarantine i think for a while longer because i'm not sure if that poop is white and stringy like that poop looks really nice and dark i can't believe i just said that on a video that poop looks really nice but the poop on that big female is troubling me so i will i will keep these guys in quarantine for a while longer the interesting interesting thing about these guys is you can see that one right there with the dots on it what is that huh that's not a platy and then there's another something over there huh i'm guessing it's some kind of cichlid so you cichlid guys scott let me know what it is let me know if I should just feed it to Chewy or what do I need to do. I don't know if I showed you how cute these little babies are, but they are freaking adorable. Adorable. All right. Uh, any more babies? I mean, there's a ton of fry. You know, it's a breeding, breeding for profit fish room. I think that's it. Oh, how about an update on the Jarawi Lazulis? Uh, they are slow growers. And I still can't really sex most of the babies. So uh, we are feeding the bejesus out of the tank. And uh, I mean, look how nice the males are. They are stellar, look at that guy. But as soon as these are, are breeding, or uh, I can sex them, I will fill my back order situation and then put them back for sale on the website. Here's a tank of mutts. These were from outside. I'm gonna take everything in here, probably drain the tank. I may even actually take the tank down and try to get all the duckweed out of it. But I'm gonna take these mutts and put them in one of those new mutt tanks and add some genetics to it. Um, I sold a bunch of mutts to a local fish store in Pennsylvania. I sold him 80 mutts and uh, he sold out in a few days and only lost one and he said that was spectacular. He said the one that, that he lost was like hugely pregnant. So, you know, the stress of her dropping the babies plus moving, you know, might've done her in, but he said he was very happy with them. And I really believe my mutts are uh, hardier because of the different genetics in there. That's just, again, no, nothing scientific, just a fat guy with a camera talking. Uh, what else? I think that's about it, guys. I'm trying to bring back my Tanaka maple leaf. If you remember, I boiled them all. It appears there are three or four fry left. Hopefully I have at least one pair. And uh, you know, these guys are growing slow. They're slow growers, just like the Jarwee Lazulis. Um, half blacks. I got a 
ton of fry in here. Uh, this was a colony I bought from a local breeder and then also Ryan from PRA Aquatics sent me a trio about a year, year and a half ago. So thank you, Ryan. All right, fishy folks. Oh, I know you guys are interested in the steel nebulas I got from Keith. Uh, lots of babies. This was, I don't know if you remember this. I'll put a link maybe to the, to the, the unboxing video, but these guys were delayed in shipping like two days and I had, I don't know, about 35% of the colony had died in shipping. A couple more died after I put them in the bag, but these guys came through strong, dropped fry right away. I mean, I can't fault Keith at all. Post office delayed two days and it was cold as you know what. So I think Keith did a great job, but you can see there's fry, little tiny fry uh in there so these guys are stellar when it gets warm we'll be putting these guys on the website steel nebula guppies all right fishy folks that's it happy special edition saturday don't forget to check out uh three fish guys breakfast with three fish guys i keep forgetting the name because i'm an idiot and uh have a great day all right we got bristle nose red what has happened?